friends, how's everyone doing? I hope all of you are good. Let's get started. Good morning, class. For today, our subject is civics and culture. But before that, let us pray. Lord, thank you for this day. Bless our students with this kind of study habits that help them to do their best. Show them how to develop their talents to find the path you have to set before them and to be courageous and adventurous to try new things and, and learn new skills. Show them the importance of learning, remembering that you are always with them. Lead them as they acknowledge you daily. Help them to be excited about their studies, to be creative in their and divorce. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, class, for today, our lesson is Migration and its effect to population growth. So what is the meaning of that? When do we say migration and its effects to population growth is the movement of people from one place to another may affect population growth. So what is the meaning of migration? Migration class is this inward or outward flow of people from one place to another. Again, class, when do we say migration? This inward or outward flow of people from one place to another. Next, we have immigrants. So what is the meaning of immigrants? When do we say immigrants? The people who move into other country. When do we say immigrants, class? Is the people Are the people who move into a country. Okay, next, immigrants, the people who move out a country, the people who move out a country. When do we say immigrant class are the people who move out of a country. So next, what is the meaning of internal migration? When do we say internal migration, migration within the country. Again, migration within the country. What is an international migration? An international migration class, the movement into another country. Again, class, movement into another country. A settlement where the population is very high and has the features of a built environment or an environment that provides basic facilities for human activity is known as urban. Again, class, it is known as urban. Rural is the geographical region located in the outer parts of the cities of or towns. Again, class, when do we say rural? The geographical region located in the outer parts of the cities or towns. So, migration patterns. These are the mode of migration. Number one, we have people from rural area to urban place. Again, class, people from rural area to urban place. Next, we have people from city to rural area. Then next, people from rural area to another rural area. So migration patterns, rural to urban. So what is rural to urban? From people urban areas transfer to urbanized areas, some reasons are better job opportunities, better schools, marriage, and etc. And in some instances, employment also forces people from urban areas to transfer to rural areas since many companies have already been established in these places. Okay, rural to urban. Next, we have urban to rural. When people in urban area encounter difficulty in coping up with the complicated way of life, okay, that's urban to rural. And they decide to transfer to rural area where they think life is simpler, more peaceful, and where the air is free from population. Okay, that is urban to rural. Next, rural to rural. Due to reasons such as unfavorable climate, insufficient sources of income, and intermarriages. Next, we have fill in. It happens when people who come from another locality transfer to a certain place and replace 
those who already decided to migrate to another area. And an example is a family that decides to live permanently in Laguna, but lives in Manila residence for another occupy it. Okay, that is fill in. Next, we have double step or two step. Again, double step or two step. When people migrate to a certain place and from that place, they decide to transfer and live permanently in another place. And a simple example is a person who changed her residence twice, excluding his place of origin. Again, that is double step or two step. Next, we have seasonal migration. Seasonal migration, people move temporary and after the specified length of time, they will be returning to their mother community. Again, class, when do we say seasonal migration is the, are the people move temporary and after the specified length of time, they would be returning to their mother community. So, what are the effects of migration? The number one is the size of population. And then the next one is age profile. Then the third one, growth and progress of people. And then the last one is urbanization. Again, the effects of migration are the size of population, age profile, growth and progress of people. And then the last one is urbanization. So the factors that influence migration are number one, push factors, and then the number two is pull factors. So what is a push factors? The existing condition in a certain area that attract people to go to that place. That is push factors. Next, pull factors. When do we say full factor class is the conditions present in some places that motivate people to decide to move in and stay there for good. So that is pull factors. Next. Some communities with high population tend to become more urbanized. Why? Because more structures have to be put up to provide employment and source of income. Again, class, it is because more structures have to be put up to provide employment and sources of income. Next, how a flow of transients to the cities be, be lessened in number to make provinces a source of income again make provinces a source of employment okay so the government give better job opportunities to answer the basic needs of the big number of the people living in the cities again class the government give better job opportunities next many of our hills Forests and mountains are converted into residential and industrial subdivisions are the environmental effects of too much congestion in the cities. Again, class, many of our hills, forests, and mountains are converted into residential and industrial subdivisions. Next. People decide migrate to the rural area because in rural area, they think life is simpler, must, more peaceful, and the air is freedom of population. Okay, guys, for our summary, population growth increases when birth and immigration rates are higher than death and immigration rates. Next. The migration pattern of people can be classified into number one, rural to urban, number two, urban to rural, and then the third one, rural to rural, and double step, fill in, and then the last one, seasonal. Immigration is the inward flow of people while emigration is the outward flow of people. Don't forget that, immigration and emigration. Okay, class. Kindly check your Google Classroom for your assignment and answer pages 24 to 27 in your GEM book. Thank you for listening. See you next meeting. Bye!